In this episode, it's finally time to talk about plumbing. And as you can see, a lot has changed since the last episode. But first, before we jump into all this mess, let's jump back to where we left off last time. To install the tanks last week, the next thing we need to do is be able to add water to the tank. I installed the fresh water inlet in the back of this bench and it just goes through here, through a pipe, through the floor, back outside. Which comes through in between here, you can see the rear tire is there and that's where the hole is. And then it just feeds through cable tied and it goes all the way to the back of the tank which just clipped on with those little clips that came with the tank kit. So now we can fill up with water. And the next thing I did is that blue pipe there which is to drain the tank so I connected that the same way and I'll show you where that's going so now we're at the rear tire and you can see that pipe just comes through here and I just cable tied it here for now this is really just to drain the fresh water tank if it's not in use so we're not going to use it that much so I think this will be fine for now so now we can fill up the tank with water and it's not gonna come out of the tank all right just one little warning with these things that come with the CAK tank this is the grey water one that I haven't fitted yet to we'll see how this has like a BSB style fitting and this is what they gave with the little clip so I just pushed inside it and then used one of those clips to tighten it down however it was still leaking so not surprisingly so what I did is I used some plumber tape and I wrapped it around here pushed it back inside and then when I tighten the clip it wasn't leaking so that's one tip when you're doing these if you're using the same tank now some of you might be asking why we installed this here instead of on the side of the van like a lot of people do here the problem with this is is that we are having this bench style bed so the highest we can put would be somewhere around here now that happens to be where this ridge line is so slightly annoying and also it's too big to put it on this gap so next up we need to get water into the van somehow so the CAK tank comes with a 15 mil kind of push fit so I got 15 mil to 12 mil uh, John Guest converter and that just connects to an elbow bracket there and now we're in John Guest world so we can just use a blue pipe 12 mil it just goes to the front all right so now we can talk about this situation over here some of you might be wondering why the pump and the accumulator is here and originally we were going to have it under the van but later on i changed my mind so we're going to have it here the reason why we're having it here is because we're going to have a nice step here it's going to be curved here and we'll have a little hatch here that we can open this up if we need to but we have plenty of space here for the pump and the accumulator and i thought this works perfectly instead of having it underneath the van most people have theirs over here but i didn't want to waste all this space i wanted to be able to stack loads of stuff in this bench to balance out the weight from this side where the battery is so that's another reason why we wanted to have the pump and the accumulator at the front all right so looking at this it might look a bit scary if you're just starting out but i promise you it's not that bad so the fresh wall comes up here from the tank which i showed you earlier it's just an elbow joint comes into a cutoff valve so we can turn the water on or off here it goes into a filter which came with the Sureflow pump and then the pump just goes into the accumulator which helps to balance out the pressure so the pump doesn't have to work all the time now the fittings from here and this middle fitting came with the kit the only thing I had to buy is this uh, connector which is a John Guest 12 mil push fit to this BSB threaded adapter I'll put links in the description so you need that one and you need that one on the end after that we go to another elbow joint a cutoff valve so as we come out of the pump and the accumulator we now have pressurized cold water so we need to get 
hot water somehow and that's what this section is for so we split off from the cold feed give it this T junction and we have a non return valve here so water can only flow one way at this point and we get to the boiler section so we have the JPD6 which is very similar to the Truma it came with some fittings but instead of using those I just bought a Truma fitting kit which came with this which is the hot water outlet and the pressure valve that goes to the outside of the van and it also came with the cold water inlet joint and it came with this which allows us to drain the tank if we need to to the outside so as we come from the non-return valve we go to the drain point which is now closed and that just goes to the cold water inlet on the JP so now the boiler has cold water the hot water comes out of here and this is uh, pressure so if there's too much pressure in the hot water tank it can drain out here which just goes outside to the van so hot water comes out here again we have a t-split which goes to the outside and the hot water goes to the shower up there so now we have hot water in the shower and we have a joint here for the hot water to go outside the van it will come across the van into the kitchen so we have hot water in the sink now the shower needs hot cold water as well so remember this t-split here as we split off to the boiler it just comes across here and it t-splits again which will go to the sink underneath the van and then it just loops across goes up and now we have cold water in the sink so as you can see it's pretty straightforward we have two valves here so we can close the supply to the shower and one more thing that i will add is here just after the non return valve i actually ordered one more cut off valve so i'll add that here so i can cut the supply to the boiler if we need to to get the pump working all i had to do is hook up 12 volt supply so we already had 12 volt coming out of this wall here so i just connected that to a switch the pump automatically turns on or off when the pressure when you open a tap however when we're not using it it will still be turning it off in case there is a leak uh, it won't just flood the van so it can be safe and the van is not in use we can just turn it off just a little warning with these truma fittings if you're using it for the JP is make sure you use the little lock-in brackets now what I had to do is if I just put it on without the lock-in bracket it's actually really loose and it's easy to just pull off so I'm pretty sure if this was pressurized without the locking clip it will just pop off and you'll flood the van so make sure you use this locking clip both on the hot water and the cold water at the bottom and hopefully it'll be fine then so yeah this is it for the main plumbing it's all working I've tested it earlier uh, it's pretty exciting to have running water and as you can see I also start blocking out this bench and this step over here so next up I'll have to make some kind of curve because we'll have it curved over here do the tops do the top of the bench but as I mentioned here this will open up so we have access here and same with the top of this bench this will open up so yeah this front half is coming along nicely and one more thing I've done is this panel which you guys if you've been following along you know that I probably cut like three different holes in it now what I ended up doing is because we have a cross batten here for the bench I actually just cut the bottom of it off which also allowed me to push it up higher uh, if you've been following for a long time you know that there was a tiny gap up here so now that I cut the bottom off I could push it up and now it's nice and flush all right so quick update on all of this it's another day I added this cutoff valve now just after the one-way valve so 
if we don't want to use the boiler and we don't want it to fill up with 10 liters of water once we turn the pump on we just turn this cutoff valve off and that way we won't be holding any water in the tank and we can drain it from here if we need to so one more thing i want to emphasize with these truma fittings on the jp is i heard of quite a few people now who says that there's pop off under pressure the hot water one and this cold water one at the bottom now we tested ours the other day under pressure hot water and cold water it works fine for us and it's not popping off one thing to make sure is i had to add these clips without these clips they are very they're pretty loose you can just pull it off with the clips added it's a lot harder to pull off and for us personally this haven't popped off yet we gonna keep an eye on it but for now it seems to be working but make sure if you're getting these truma fittings for your jp make sure you add the clips and when you're doing the first couple of tests keep an eye on it uh, just in case it pops off uh, otherwise you're gonna flood your whole van with water so be careful with these we might change them to a normal compression fitting for now they seem to be working so we're gonna stick with it i also added this wall in now which you guys have seen before so the truma a truma the jp screen is here and then i added the switch for the pump here just under the thermostat so that looks quite nice now and yeah the water in here is working all nice and neat so basically a fresh water system is ready to go now the only thing we need to do is where this t split is this one we'll go back outside under the van to the sink and same with this hot water split here which is plugged in at the moment we'll go outside again and to the sink so yeah, this area is coming along nicely. Fresh water plumb is pretty much ready. And we are starting to block out this step seat area and this cabinet so we can finish the cladding. <laughs> so yeah, it's a slightly different video than what we usually do. Normally I film as I go along, but I really wanted to crack on with this and get it done. And it's kind of painful when you're underneath the van to film, but we have running water now. So next up, we need to connect the wastewater tank, which I'll show you maybe next week or the week after. But yeah, slowly making progress and we'll keep you guys updated next week. Bye.